Okay, how to install your email signature in Gmail. Uh, I figured it was about time to update this video because Gmail has, uh, a couple months ago, they changed the uh, signature section a little bit. So there are a couple more steps that I, I feel like some of my clients are, um, are stumbling on. So without further ado, let's do it. So you are going to have an HTML file that I sent you along with the installation instructions. We're going to use this one as an example. Please don't um, try to copy and paste like the, uh, uh, what do you want to call them? Like the versions that I send you via email as we're dialing in the design because th that's going to have a lot of bloated code in it. You want to actually use the file that I have attached to an email, the attachment, the paperclip, the HTML file. Don't try to copy and paste from the email content itself. Use the HTML file. Otherwise, you might have issues with uh, uh, the e this email signature is too long warning or whatever. But uh, I always make sure, I always test if things are close to make sure that the file will fit within Gmail's constraints. So as long as you use the file, you should be good. Okay, so double click on it to open it up in a browser, preferably Chrome or Firefox. Stay far away from Safari because Safari has a bug that's going to blow up. Every single graphic is going to be huge. Um, so don't use Safari if you're, if you're a Mac person. Download Chrome or Firefox to do this installation process. You don't have to use it indefinitely just for the install, and then you can go back to using Safari and everything will be fine. But once you have it open in a web browser, control A to select all, control C to copy it to your clipboard, or command, command A if you're a Mac person, command C, blah, blah, blah. And then head into Gmail on Firefox, okay? Or in Firefox, the Firefox browser. Make sure you're logged into Gmail. This is my demo account. Uh, and go up to the gear up here, and then click on see all settings. Scroll down in the general tab here until you get to signature. If you already have one in there, uh, just create a new one and call it whatever you want to call it. And then inside this tiny little window here, I don't know why they don't let us uh, kind of stretch things out, but uh, make sure you have the cursor blinking and then control or command V as in Victor to paste it. And then just scroll down to make sure everything looks cool. And you got it installed. But this is kind of a new thing that uh, that Gmail has added. Now you can choose what signature you want to use for new mails or replies and forwards. And I ha kind of have a vibe that this is where some of my clients are, um, are, are skipping this step. Because it's a new thing and it wasn't in my old video because this wasn't a feature um, when I shot that last video. So here you want to make sure that you select the one that you just created, the name. And if you want to use it on replies and forwards as well, do that, okay? And then click Save Changes. And as you can see here, if I click on Compose, the signature will show up nice and awesome. Uh, you can also, a new feature here is this little pen icon. You can click on that and go back to your old signature if you want, or you can have no signature or your new one. It's kind of cool, um, but different. So that's why I think some of my clients were having issues. Now, another thing that I think happens that I just want to cover, uh, I'm just going to delete this because I don't want it in my drafts folder. Now, let, let's say I did this install in Firefox, and then I feel like I'm done. And then I go into Chrome, because I use Chrome. And here I'm logged into that same account, OK? When I click on Compose, my old signature is going to be there. When I click on the pen, that's the only option. The reason is, is because I haven't refreshed things. This, this is still holding the old information. So what I did in Firefox isn't carrying over here yet. So the easiest way to fix this issue is to just click on the refresh icon here. And now let's hit Compose. Let's wait for it to load up here. Oh, come on. All right. Now we hit Compose. And boom. Okay? So I think that's something that might be happening too once in a while where people are like, oh, I installed it, um, but it's not showing up. I installed it correctly. It saved correctly, but it's not showing up when I compose. Maybe you need to re refresh some, some windows um, or some tabs that you had open that haven't um, taken on that install yet um, because they don't know you did it. 
Uh, so I think those are going to solve some of the, the issues that have been cropping up over the last month or so. Um, and I'm going to add this video as my new Gmail installation uh, tutorial. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.